Hello and welcome to Camperland TV. Great to have your company. You know, one of the terrific things about going away with my darling wife is that she does this stuff really, really well. We're, we're a bit rough and tumble on the show sometimes, but when you come along, it's beautiful. What are we doing here? Cheese. Cheese, crackers. Beautiful. Wine. Sunset about to happen. Vino. We've got the, the, the conquest behind us. And you love this scenic room, don't you? I do. It is one of my absolute favourite places in the world. It's a feast for the eyes, it's a feast for the senses as well because mm. apart from it you know, being a good looking place, it's a great eating place. And the locals here are so proud of their wine and of their food, so much so that they celebrate it every year. It's called Eat Local Month. Eat Local Month. And uh, that's what we're out having a look at and you're going to join us on this trip, so here's cheers. Cheers. Mount Barney Lodge is tucked away in the foothills of one of our state's highest and most revered peaks. And it's easy to see from here how the scenic rim got its name. Innes and Tracy Larkin have called Mount Barney home for more than 20 years and host people here at the lodge from all walks of life who come here for its unique offerings. We get a, a vast array. Um, we get families who just want their kids to have nature and space and they want to go down the creek and just play. And that's so beautiful. You hear that sound, kids playing in the creek. Um, and then they see the little fire light watching the, 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 the campfires of a night. Young people who are, who are busting to get out and explore these mountains and hills. And then we get a, a group of people who want to be guided by us to those special places and, and learn the history of the geology, the history of the, the area. Um, the, the plants and animals that are only in this area. The, the thing that I love that, that sucks people in is this is one of those places that is wild. One of the last vestiges of that wildness left in the world. Mm. Um, that gives me goosebumps just even thinking about it, but <laughs> that's what they get. And, and they sit there and you know we, we share our, our passion, our love for it. Yeah. And they go, yeah. You're right. And then it sinks in. It's great to be back here, mate. I'm really looking forward to tonight. Done. Sounds good. So tonight, we're in for a real treat. Dinner and a show around a campfire with a local fella by the name of Cruz, who's about to show me the finer art of boomerang throwing. I'll just give you an example real quick. Uh, you want to glide? So there's a few things I need to tell you. I'm left-handed and Cruz has left the set. Sorry, He's right. Are you, did you say you're going to get out of the way? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So and under up. Yeah, well, sideways. Sideways. All right. Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine the more practice you get, yeah. you get further, you get a better aim. Yeah. And just in any our tools that we run for the schools, within the hour they're getting better at throwing. So. And does Innes always this is, this would be good on the golf course as yeah. well? Look this play. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bit more to the left, mate. Yeah. <laughs> he is a man of many talents, is Cruz, and there's something about a ditch by the fire under the stars that makes this evening feel very special indeed. Early morning and an early departure from Mount Barney sees us on the road to our next scenic rim destination via a coffee stop in Boona and onto Calbar, where we'll overnight in the local showgrounds. Most country towns these days are offering this up as an inexpensive and convenient way to spend some time in these little out of the way hamlets. Calbar has got some great little shops, a country pub and one of the nicest little post offices in the land. This definitely requires some further investigation. What makes Calbar such a great little country town in the scenic room? Oh, look, you know, it's just the people. The people make Calbar, you know, and um, we're going along and, you know, 
bounds and streets and got some great new little businesses opening up and I've been here 15 years and the, the, um, the change has been amazing to watch and amazing to see. We're getting around these tiny towns in the perfect vehicle for such an adventure. The Jayco RM20 is the most popular motorhome in the Jayco range. It's a great rig for two, and as I said at the start of the show, when travelling with Karen, it looks even better. I'm blown away by the space in this motorhome, with its large kitchen, huge three-way Dometic fridge, and the dinette, which also doubles as a great workstation. At the rear is the ensuite, shower, and a laundry. When it's time for lights out or an afternoon kip, the bed descends from the roof with the touch of a button. The inner spring mattress is large and comfy, and I've got to say, the interior of this motorhome is spacious, it's attractive, and it's very well thought out. As the afternoon rolls on and the magpies gather, the sun starts to cast its shadows at that most important time of the day in a caravaner's life. Sundowners, cue the cocktails. Cocktail hour in Cobra! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> fantastic! Have whipped us up some uh, Bloody Mary. Well, it looks healthy, doesn't it? <laughs> huh? That's right. It looks like there's See? some fruit and vegetable well, in there. That's right. I thought if we're in the scenic rim, why not enjoy fantastic. some fruit and veg? And something perhaps uh, made from potatoes as well. Is there a bit of vodka in the bottom of that? Mm, a little bit. <laughs> wow, fantastic! Give it a stir. Dinner tonight is at the Calbar Pub, a stone's throw from the showgrounds, and bonus, it's Palmy Night. Two. For 25 bucks, what an absolute bargain. The scenic rim is the food bowl of southeast Queensland. Corn, carrots, beef, cheese, wine, artisan breads, you name it, I reckon it would grow here. So it makes sense that a region like this would celebrate its success with a foodie festival. Not only is it a beauty, it's one that you can bring your van to. Eat Local Month was the brainchild of Genevieve Windley, who owns Scenic Rim Farm Box and The Farm Shop. Every year, butchers, bakers and carrot stick makers come from all over together to celebrate their amazing talents and delicious offerings. Originally, this was just a farming area, yeah, but now it. it's become a tourism destination, hasn't it? 100%. I think as... Um you know, people move to the, and it seems to be a lot of the women driving it, like in, and I mean that because when I married Ed and came and understood how awesome the farm farming was and how clever these farmers are and what goes into producing the humble carrot, for example, it's just so exciting that you just want to tell people and you want to share that. And then I just know so many of my friends were keen to have that opportunity. Like how can they get a part of it? How can they come and connect um, to where their food comes from? Because we don't all live in the country anymore. Tell us about where we are and about what you, what you run here. So we're in the grounds of the Scenic Rim Farm Shop, which is located within a patchwork field of farms and crops along Kent's Lagoon Road, just outside of Calbar, in the Scenic Rim, of course. What, what's <laughs> grown around here? So this is vegetable heartland. So we've got lots of sweet corn and green beans at the moment. Next door to us, we've got some soybeans. We've got some lucerne across the road, and then there's some cows on the hills. So it's a very picturesque landscape. <laughs> and of course, you're mustering the odd tourist as well. We've got a few yes. of them behind us. Yes, yes. Tell me about uh, your operation here. What do you what do you run here? So this is about letting people come to enjoy a, a genuine farm shop experience. So it's attached to our vegetable farm. Everything we cook is with local ingredients. It's about just hearty, delicious food in a beautiful, peaceful country environment. This is just one of dozens of locations you can visit during the month-long festival to be held in July. Calbar Showgrounds is just one of a number of locations you can overnight or stay at for a few days in your van or motorhome. For more info on the festival and for details on staying at Mount Barney Lodge, head to their websites. If you'd like more info about the Jayco RM20 or any of the other vans or motorhomes in the Jayco range, head to Brisbane Camperland or check out their website. And we'll see you here at Eat Local Month in July or next time on Camperland TV.